Yeah, gold is money. Pretty much that is a fact. And, uh, you know, a lot of people look at the dollar index. I know it's weighted against a basket of currencies, primarily the euro. Then there's also the yen. I forgot what the basket of currencies are, but it's primarily the euro. Uh, so it's really not measured against something real. It's measured against other fiat currencies. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know, I know. But I'm going to get at a couple things here. I just want to point out a couple simple things. Well, I think gold's going to go up a hell of a lot this year, along with silver and oil, again. And, you know, this spike over here, and it, it has to do with the Iran war. I'm going to cut right to the chase. But it also has to do with debt defaults, and that's with the Iran war. Um, this is, um, you know, the spike in gold back when we had... Um, this is really this whole period of time. Now, this is a long-range chart. It's actually kind of like a double top, you know, if you look at it more close up. But this was this spike in gold was really from the, the S&P downgrade of U.S. debt. So, just looking at, you know, this debt clock again, this, back in September, the U.S. debt just cleared... It was like about 100% of the U.S. gross domestic product back in September 2011. Now it's almost 103%. It's like 102.7%. So it's actually increasing as a percentage of the U.S. domestic product. So the debt is going up. Now one thing that was emphasized um, back when you're doing the budgets, you know, back in the last quarter of uh, 2011, was about S&P and Moody's emphasized this that they would further downgrade the US debt if there's going to be any kind of break in the budget now I know the elections are coming up and then you know these guys break budgets left and right they're not going to allow they'll allow him them maybe to increase one category and lower a category but you know what this is what I can see what's coming on Iran war would cost trillions and you know what? I heard this stuff for so long, and I know this is a good point he brings out in this article. In the summer of 2007, both anal analysts and agitators in the political left, even in the political left, believed Bush and Cheney would bomb Iran before year's end. And I want to kind of balance that with what Lindsey Williams said, because a lot of people thought Iran, Iran, Iran. And he said, no, 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 it wasn't time yet. And you know what? The time he was giving, it is kind of like, you know, we're about in that time period, if he's about correct. And I did ad-lib a little bit on Lindsey Williams that I think he was deliberately being discredited because he was told the truth. So you got the basic truth. Just watch curveballs he might be coming out with lately because he's he doesn't know. He's being told something by some shrewd people. Um... Neoconservatives and um, nationalists like John Bolton also believed it. So it was the left and the right. Both believed it. And you know what? If Dick Cheney had his way, <laughs> it would happen. You know? So I think there is like nothing like a 100% consensus among the people that control this country that are real driving force. Quite obvious fact. But what I think is this. If I realize how Israel is thinking of this they are worried like crazy about them getting nuclear weapons and if anybody thinks this is over electricity when they got all this natural gas and uh, crude oil that they're sitting on that they would go through all this trouble sanctions having their assets frozen and they're burying these things so deep in the ground like you know what zero cost or many many big bucks to bury these things in the ground you know what they're doing, okay? So, anyway. Israel probably, I think, is going to strike them if the United States doesn't. Now, looking at that thing coming out yesterday with, um, you know, Air Force General showing that there's plans to strike not only nuclear facilities, but uh, knock out the entire Iranian regime. I think that's, that's showing that there's, um, you know, Israel has a big voice in what goes on as far as what goes on in the United States too. War costs lots and lots of money. Simple statement but it's very true and it's very obvious what that is going to do. It's going to break this budget. 
ergo very simple fact is that you're going to see gold fly up again because this is the safe haven all traders think of this as the safe haven this because gold is money uh, as the dollar is money in the absence of that they are going to fly into gold and you know you look at this period of time it's almost like you can't really look at the index so much I'm just going to go over this kind of simple but you know you know people think there's a co inverse correlation between a dollar index and gold yes in some ways it is but you know gold can be considered a risk asset when the economy is looking like garbage that's when people get out of it and they fly into the US dollar but what happens if the US dollar is no longer a safe haven because of another debt downgrade not that it's going to make it dead but that has to push up the price of gold so I see these budgets being broken due to a war now this is going to be extremely bullish for the metals and oil and silver so uh, you know also want to point out here that in uh, August 2011 you could see the index was down that was at the point of time when gold was way up because it, but it was up far more because of you know the dollar taking a hit from the debt downgrade but it's not always that way you really can't look at it for an inverse relationship between gold and um, the index because if you look back here when gold crashed in 2008 uh, you know it was also everything was down everything was down there was all kinds of market problems going on at that time so I mean it's it's not like um, you know it could be considered a risk asset and a safe haven depending on what's going on if everything's looking smooth with the strength of the American economy and the strength and the national debt hasn't been downgraded well then the dollar is going to be a safe haven so if there's a problem with the euro and there's a, there's a news of a looming Greek default gold will take a hit now I see you know, ultra bears like <laughs> you know I think um, I'll mention this guy. His guy's name is uh, Larry. I don't know if I want to mention the last name, whatever. He's on uh, Money Markets or whatever it is. Um, he seems to be, he's kind of like a long term bull with, um, you know, the precious metals. But he always seems to call for a lot of pullbacks. And I'm like, you know, he's uh, the opposite of Brother John in some ways. But uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to pull back too too bad even though Mark Farber says it might and you know on I used to Mark Farber says it might still be in a correction phase he thinks it's still in the correction phase and it might pull back I take that very serious so what I think what's going to cause it to pull back is something going on with the euro but where I think it's going to really fly this year for sure I think this Iranian war probably is coming up and I think it's because Israel is extremely worried about Iran getting a nuclear weapon and if something isn't done to stop or slow them down they're gonna do it on their own and the whole thing's gonna start so gold is gonna have to fly not just due to geopolitical tensions uncertainty but it's gonna break the budget in the United States and that's gonna cause a downgrade again by another agency probably um, Moody's so I'm just telling you what I thinks the way it's going to play out. I think I have this accurate. I think so.